Time now for the skinny, starting with last night's special Halloween edition of Dancing with the Stars. It was actually a lot of fun. I the, loved it. Yeah, the best dance of the night turned out to be James and Jenna's Viennese Waltz, earning them a perfect score, 30 out of 30. Runner-up, Lori and Val, also doing a Viennese Waltz, by the way, bringing in what critics say may have been their strongest routine of the season. Another perfect score, 30 well, out of 30. A lot of them are actually gelling at the right time. Yeah, I mean, you, you look for growth throughout the course of the competition, yeah. and especially they're, they're a couple that they peaked so soon, or at yes, least we they thought did. they did, that you were just wondering, how are they going to grow from uh -huh. here? But they keep getting better and better. But James, being the race car driver, he knows how to come back from behind and take over. He's doing a great job, and so is a football player, a former football player. And then there's Mary Lou Henner and Derek. Their Argentine tango, according to Judge Carrie Ann, um, riddled with missteps, tiny missteps, but many of those missteps, so they were consistent there, um, scoring them just 23 out of 30. I mean, this is someone who's never danced before. No, and it's tough. And she's the oldest one in the competition. Usually, by this point, you know, remember the Geraldo Rivera's of the, the day, yes, they're yes, usually yes. gone. Or you try not to. Yeah. And finally, <laughs> there's Ryan and Cheryl. Their tango was actually one of his better dances, but compared to the competition, they're still just way below par. And unfortunately, this performance was not enough to keep Ryan in the competition. They got eliminated last night. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot about myself that I could, no matter how hard I get knocked down, I can keep fighting. Um, I think, that, and this family, like, I love it. I'm sad that I'm going home, but everyone here has touched me in a special place right here, so I'll always forget. I gotta ask that. you, Ryan. Now, ironically, Ryan and Cheryl got the boot after winning last night's dance-off. Mm -hmm. But they'll be there to show their stuff live in Times Square later on GMA. Yeah, and Tom Bergeron took the flight with them as well, so he'll be on GMA as well. Next, for another Halloween treat, President Obama visited TBS's Full Frontal with Samantha Bee for some spooky political stories. Bee got yeah. into character as a millennial voter using her angsty voice, her teen voice, that is, as a... He tried to connect with her as part of his message to get young people out to the polls, but she couldn't resist making a few jabs of her own. After you leave office, have you thought of just whispering in Donald Trump's ear, you were right, I wasn't born here, just to like mess with him? I, I think it's fair to say that uh, I will be organizing my post-presidency where I'm not close enough to him to whisper in his ear. That is very fair. <laughs> so in his get out the vote pitch, the president said that he would hope young people would take at least as much time as, as it takes to look at cat videos online to ensure that democracy is working. And next, she's about to dial back her career to focus on raising her son, but Adele is making somewhat of a stunning admission this morning about motherhood. Yeah, she's opening up to Vanity Fair for the cover of the December issue. The 10-time Grammy winner admitted that soon after the birth of her son, Angelo, um, four years ago, she battled a crippling bout of postpartum depression. When asked if she plans to have another baby, she said, quote, I'm too scared. Adele went on to say that taking regular time out of her schedule for herself is what helped her get through the challenges of being a new mom. And finally, we can't let Halloween 2016 slip away without a quick celebrity costume roundup. Starting right. with our good friend and ABC colleague Kelly Ripa staging a blowout live Halloween extravaganza. She and guest co-host Jerry O'Connell did a mashup <laughs> scoop of Beyonce's Hold Up music video. Even with the baseball bat, ooh, Kelly went at it. Yeah. They also did The Walking Dead. Huh, all right. Uh, next, Beyonce threw it back to the 80s with three generations of Knowles women, her daughter, Blue, and her mother in a pitch-perfect homage to Salt and Peppa and DJ Spinderella. Meanwhile, going old Hollywood glam, Neil Patrick Harris and family dressed as Charlie Chaplin, oh, look at husband that. David Burkta, and Groucho Marx. And their two kids, as Marilyn Monroe and James Dean. In the theater. And also throwing it back, old school, um, this is Demi Lovato and Nick Jonas. They're Dorothy and the Scarecrow. Oh, that's what they are. We're off to see the out. wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. And finally, Justin Ooh. Timberlake, Jessica Biel, and their 18-month-old son, Silas, Very decked out cute. as characters from Timberlake's upcoming Trolls movie. What so a Halloween good way and promotion. And synergy right there. Look at that. <laughs>